Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about the Halo Goblet Squad. The Halo Goblet Squad is a combination of a Halo and a Goblet Squad. The reason I tend to do my Goblet Squats globe up is for several reasons. One, if you do your squats globe up, then you can lean further back away from the weight to get your tailbone down lower without doing a bunch of weird stuff with your spine. Anytime you hold weight in front of you while doing a squat, you will force core contraction. So I love all the front loaded versions of squats the most. Kettlebell front squat, rack squat, goblet squat. I will occasionally do the handle up CrossFit version of the goblet squat, but I would normally do that only if I'm at CrossFit. If you're training at home, this is a great activity to add into your warmup. So this exercise combination of the two things, the halo going around the head and the goblet squat. For this activity will start picking the kettlebell up 90 degrees. Don't let your elbow track back behind you. Make this forearm vertical. Squeeze your elbows into your sides. If your elbows are kicked out and there is a gap here, squeeze your elbows in until there's no more gap. If they are all the way on your body, you're doing it correctly. From here, you're going to orbit all the way around your head and then go all the way down. Your elbows should track inside of your knees. Your elbow can touch the inside of your knee at the bottom. If you're having trouble with mobility, you can push your knees out and pull your shoulder blades back. You don't have to do that, but you can do that, especially if your knees are collapsing inward. Point your feet straight ahead, pick the kettlebell up, orbit the head, squat all the way down. This version of the activity allows us to sit further back away from the weight, around the head, set the weight down, straighten your arms all the way out. The weight goes down between your feet. Pick the weight up. Squeeze your elbows tight to your side, arms at 90 degrees, around the head, squat all the way down, tip your tailbone back, lean away from the weight, lowering your arms down, squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. Stand up. When you stand up, don't let your elbows track behind you. Don't rest the kettlebell on your body. So this exercise does two things very, very well. It encourages you to get low at the bottom because it gives you a weight to lean against. Your body goes back, the weight can go forward so that you can get your tailbone lower and lower down and make your spine more and more vertical over time. The second thing that it does is when you stand all the way up, in order to do the halo effectively, you have to finish your hips. A problem that many people have when they've done too much of other types of training is they stand up at the top of a squat. They don't stand all the way up. And that's for many different reasons. It could be because you're doing back squats and you finish here. It could be because you've been doing a lot of CrossFit workouts and you've been doing air squats and coming here to here. And in the interest of speed, you are not locking out at the top of the movement. So this exercise can be plugged in and you can do it with heavy weights. You can do it all the way up to 48 K if you're an absolute beast, but this will force you to get low at the bottom and at the top in order to go around the head, you will have to stand all the way up. You don't really have a choice. That's the way I like exercises, no choice, but to do them correctly. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.